this. Uh, if my uncle was here today, he would tell you what Arthur was like when he was a young man. One of the stories I got was he was a real hellraiser. <laughs> anyway, the, uh, one of the streets is now, I think, referred to as Crossover. It's down where um, um, Adolf Van Winkle's house is. It used to be called Outhouse Row because there were a whole bunch of outhouses on that stretch because the women used to walk up, the people used to walk up and get the water out of the pond right where Nancy Roberts' house was. But when we started labeling, naming the streets around here, some of the residents in that area didn't think that outhouse world was such a, <laughs> such a good, good name. They sort of like up in Mystic, there was a slaughterhouse up on top of the hill, and it was always called Slaughterhouse Hill. But when the town officially named the street, they had to name it, I don't know, some, something else. This doctor. Let's talk to that's right. And Slaughterhouse Hill just didn't fit in too well. I'm yeah. sure there was a Slaughterhouse there. The, uh, one of the things, I think, for people who are new to the area, uh, the three books that I really recommend that if you're interested in the history of the area, there might be. There's one, Major John Mason's Great Island. It's really a pretty interesting book. I read it every once in a while. And it tells about the history of the island from, from back when the Mason first got it. And Swamp Yankee from Mystic, both of which were written by my father, will sort of give you some insight a little bit as to the nature of uh, the three people who have really sort of foisted uh, Mason's Island Company on you. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it tells about the family and the personalities involved, and it gives it a bit of history of, of, of what they thought of life and so forth. And they're both very interesting books, I think. Then there's one that I just came upon recently that was written by Ben Rathman from uh, Knowing. It's called The Histories of Local Islands and Lighthouses. And there again, it just gives a brief description of Mason's Island, some of the other places and the lighthouses. But it's, it's a very informative, uh, very interesting uh, Tell them about Ben. Ben Rathman. Ben, well, I don't know too much about Ben, but I'm just talking about his book. And, and it, it really gives quite an interesting uh, description, not only of Mason's Island, but their surrounding islands and the lighthouses. Um, I didn't really, I guess, you know, interesting here, that my grandfather was the one responsible for chasing some people out of here, but uh, he did have the reputation <laughs> as having a very strong temper. He had a very short temper. But he also was very in love with the time. Anyway, um, so anyway, I really recommend these three books, and um, it's sort of been interesting the, uh, being involved in the club for the past you know, 30 years. It's interesting, my grandfather, I guess, was a trustee here for 10 years. My father for about 20 years, and I've been a trustee for over 30 years. And you see members come and go, you see congress come and go, and some of the same things come up over and over again. And then things change, but they really don't change that much. Uh, and one thing that really has changed, up until the 1950s, this was a, the island and the club itself was pretty much like most of the uh, areas <coughs> along the shoreline. This was strictly a wasp community. We were all from the, went to the same churches, <coughs> same schools. And uh, it wasn't until the 50s when the Glockies moved here to Mason's Island. And since then, when we broaden the uh, uh, scope of the island, the type of people that are here. And so today, when <clears throat> nobody thinks anything about a person's religion on the island. I don't think it's fine. But back uh, when the Glockies first brick just land here, all hell broke loose. These forest rovers up here had my father, because some of the people were now dead. We're very concerned that the Pope was arriving on Mason's island. <laughs> time were not more acceptable here on Mason's Island and a lot of other communities. So it's it's nice to see that. Uh, so for some people who say, well, I wish the good old days were back again, maybe the good old days weren't that good in some respects. But I think we have a much more diverse group here now, and uh, it's made uh, life a lot more interesting. Thank you.